Damn. Uh. So when your best friend asks you, hey, you gotta review this beer for me because I thought it was pretty good, you do it. Even if you've never heard of it, even if it sounds ridiculous, even if it's a style you don't like. You just do it, you just do it. But this is a Roy Pitts Belgian Strong Ale. Roy Pitts, I hope that's Roy because he has got a bang. <laughs> He's got a good body on him. Glub, 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 glub. <sighs> You've paid attention to the BRC in the past. We don't do a lot of Belgian strong ales for a simple reason. We don't really like them. Yeah, I mean, we don't hate, hate any kind of beer, but there just isn't our favorite. It's nice every once in a while to sort of try a, a style that we don't get a whole lot. A little, little, little fun, a little, little change up. So yeah. Roy Pitts out of somewhere in Pennsylvania. And speaking of Pennsylvania, Jeff Stinson, you still owe me PCBS, that's all I'm saying. Uh, Jeff. Just, just gonna, Jeff, come on. Jeff. You were such a good trader for so long. Come on, uh, Jeff. <laughs> Belgian Strong Ale should be big and funky, 9%. Let's, let's get a nose in. All right. Here's the thing, I've never been able to describe the Belgian funk of yeast without saying Belgian funk. I don't know what that smells like. There's nothing else in the world that smells like Belgian funky yeast. It just always Can you help me. It, to me, it's just a it's like a laffy taffy banana. It's that sort of candy banana, that artificial banana, which I learned actually was a real banana that has gone extinct. Really? That's what I learned. So <laughs> that's what I think it is. I think it's extinct laffy taffy banana. That's the Belgian okay. <laughs> funk that you're describing. Well, I know Belgian beers give off banana, they say, and clove, and I get the clove in here for sure. It does smell kind of strong. I mean, you get a little of the fusel note there, 9%. What was that? What, what's that Ohio tropical fruit? The pawpaw? Pawpaw. It smells it's, like pawpaw It wheat. smells like pawpaw, okay. which I feel yeah, like is definitely. a banana-y yeah, 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 you're right, you're sort right. of fruit. I tend to think about is like those darker figgy. Yeah, not a lot of figs and raisins. I do yeah. get a small cinnamon kind of thing going on. For non-Belgian liker, it smells pretty good. Well, Corey, I mean, it's been a it's been a pleasure to smell Roy Pitts, and I I want to know how Roy Pitts tastes. Yes. So let's go ahead and dive into Roy Pitts. Here we go. At first, I was like, all right, just kind of like a, you know a beer. It just tasted like a beer. But as it lingered, as it grew, some would say, it got a little bit of like this this cool cherry in the background. It got this this different fruitiness kind of coming out of it. Not a ton of yeast disgusting funk flavor that I don't like, but definitely some good fruity kind of yeast variants. Yeah, like fermented apple or like a fermented sort of fruity flavor, like okay. a cider-esque yeah. sort of like a fermenting cider and a little bit of like a medicinal cherry, mm -hmm. yeah, um, but you I definitely guess. get like a little bit of boozy, fermenty fruit going on in the background. Yeah. Uh, the malts hold up pretty well with this one. You do get some caramel in the malt. You do get a little bit of that bready backbone. But really, it's not that big of a beer in terms of ABV. Like, it's 9%, but there's there's no burn. I mean, there's a little tiny warmth in the belly, but at the same time, it's really drinkable. For I, I really feel like this is a creeper, though. Like, I feel yeah. like it'll creep right up on you and get you. It tastes nice, yeah. um, but definitely that sort of lingering boozy fermented fruit aspect is the one like sort of hallmark of this beer yeah i mean if i really think about it there's a little bit of bitter in the back of the tongue but that medicinal cherry is the the main thing i get out of it you know some caramel and some medicinal cherry then they call it a day but for a belgian strong ale it's one that i can tolerate it's one that i drink so i mean with that in mind i think i'm ready for a rating but since i since i, since I started it you gotta throw it to ron ron what do you think yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it's sort of a... I don't know where I stand on it. I mean, it, it tastes just fine, but it's sort of... There's there's nothing memorable, I guess I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a, a pretty nice beer. Refreshing. Uh, and, and actually, for the Belgian Strong, it's not my favorite style, as we said. I like it. So I'm going to go like an 88. Okay. I think like a, a B plus, really nice. I, I don't know that there's anything outrageously special about this particular brew right but pretty nice definitely i'm um, happy to finish my glass of this and um pretty good just based off of do i like it would i drink it again 85 yeah i mean 
I mean, it's a, it's a definite B beer. I wouldn't quite put it in the A range of Belgians. It doesn't quite have the complexity that great Belgians do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Jeff, for sending this to him. I know you're going to watch this someday. And Jeff Stinson, you also got to send us our beer. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> but until we get that package, <laughs> always remember. We are the Brewby Crew. We will review. A brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. Well, guys, you might not have ever heard of Roy Pitts, but what you have heard of is the brewgearcrew.com backslash Amazon. Yes, you have heard about that. We've been we've been hounding you all day. <laughs> go to Amazon. Go to Amazon. What it does is it makes our product better. If you look at our first video like some other people did, and then you see this one, <laughs> that's Amazon. Yeah. So brewgearcrew.com backslash Amazon. Go there. Shop like it's your everyday thing, and uh, we'll thank you. <laughs>